tonight on Hip on the Spot News. The mighty C-130 will be a game changer in DCS world. CSAC focus missions can be even more entertaining. The LA7 and VO105 are progressing well. And I got a new module in the last sale. This and more on How I Play. This video is sponsored by Fox3 Managed Solutions. Hello Virtual Pilots, I'm Andre Celesti and today we are going to talk about the latest news in DCS World and more. And Spring 2024 is here. The flowers are blooming, birds are tuning and we continue to wander the virtual skies in our favorite modules. And speaking of virtual skies, DCS celebrates the beginning of spring with a sale. Uh, really? Yes, another sale. Though the one on their eShop just concluded, but the one on Steam will continue until the 24th of March. Just a few days remaining. And this time, I hit the trigger on the Saber. I was testing it a few days ago and you know how these things go. You get the new module feel, you start to learn the shapes, the quirks, and love is just one roll away. So next time you see a saber in a random server somewhere, remember, it may just be flown by yours truly or Petrovich. Well, good luck, my friend. Why? The saber is the most confused bird in the skies. Uh, what do you mean confused? Yes, MiG-15 and Saber are like two brothers from another mother. Your friendly forces will shoot you faster than you say Katyusha. Uh -oh. Petrovich, for the first time, I think you are right. Ah, niet, niet. Listen to me. Just use the colorful US livery. Like this, you have a chance to live. Moving on, if you missed our coverage on the F4 Phantom Delay, there are two videos we posted and we will continue later on to discuss about the available info in a special show. As a side note, Hitler gave a lengthy interview with Game Pressure prior to the announcement of their necessary delay. I link the article in the description down below. It's a good read and I won't spoil it for you. Nice to see some coverage of our favorite dev team out there. Meanwhile, the LA-7 by Octopus G is making great progress. The flight model is now complete. Unique features have been implemented like the decrease in lifting forces when the side cowl flaps are fully open. An armament system has been completed and includes a bomb aiming control system. Also, you will be happy to know that a wide collection of liveries are being prepared for launch and of course they will add new ones as development progresses. The damage model is also complete and a quick manual has been written. The product is now being finalized for early access and we need to pay attention as soon we will know when we can expect the release. Nice! So I tend to spend a lot of time watching random videos from different DCS servers and for some reason I like to watch the CSAR focus missions or combat search and rescue involving helicopters. My favorite two content creators for this are Rods88 and Ryu1940. Big shout out for both of them, keep them coming. I gotta say, coffee tastes way better while watching the hip inserting troops behind enemy lines. And as I watch these cool and relaxing videos, I start to wonder how things will change when the C-130 and Chinook hit the servers. For the C-130, the team at ASC are hard at work, busy working on the beast and I cannot wait to see it in action. In fact, I may just find myself riding shotgun as it is confirmed that the multi-crew is a thing, at least 3 spots if not more. When the Hercules comes along, no more need for loading and unloading using scripts. It will all be possible without any headaches for our mission creators and that's a good thing. There is also the fact that we will be able to use our own yokes that we got set up in other flight sims. The reversers will be present and modeled with reverse thrust so no need for pushback. Not that we need a pushback system in DCS, no, not for now. A whole new world will open up and those airdrops will be fantastic. So once we get Petrovich out in the back, make sure you watch your heads down there. 
As a short reminder for those of you who are new here on the channel, the C-130 is slated for release in DCS World somewhere in the future and is being made by the airplane simulation company. It will feature a fully simulator FMS with model airways, SIDs and STARS, an RWR, MVS and infrared countermeasure systems. Though keep in mind that the fidelity level of these will be limited by both the availability of unclassified information as well as DCS itself. Their words, not mine. The mighty Super Hercules will be able to ship any warehouse items between bases. So anything you can get your hands on and it's necessary for waging war in the virtual skies and ground. So we will be able to transport everything in DCS. And of course, if it fits, it needs to fit. So don't get too cocky now. But wait, I thought that... No, Petrovich, you thought nothing. Put the keys down. At least I still have the Moab option. Yes, but I will speak with Mongoose so you in particular don't get access to it. Nah, why are you spoiling all the fun? So, airdrops, land and takeoffs from short and grassy fields, supply and recovery down units, the content I watch now, it's about to get even better once this is out. But what do you think? Leave your comments down below. As for the Chinook, well, the only thing I can say for now is that I'm watching how the Miltech simulation version for Microsoft Flight Simulator is faring, even though there is no comparison from what we're going to get in DCS world. But hey, it's all we get for now. Meanwhile, Miltec 5 has another update for us with their B0105 flight model. It seems that for the last two weeks, they have been busy calculating the helicopter downwash. This also includes the stabilizers at the rear. This will be penetrated by the downwash and will make the B0105's behavior noticeable, especially when landing. So all of this is currently being integrated into their Medusa flight model. At the same time, the pilot-copilot model is entering its final phase. Nice! In other news, PMDG reveals their 777 for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Fly-by-Wire teases their Super Jumbo Jet A380X in a very detailed sneak peek. And to complete the experience, for those of you not knowing, this highly detailed upcoming airliner will be available for free in Microsoft Flight Simulator thanks to the talented team at Fly-by-Wire. What more can you ask? Moving on, Armad Reforger gets another update, this time focused on La Résistance, with new playable content, civilian clothing, vehicles, new weapons, optics and more. It also includes a multitude of fixes and improvements. So you can now play as the Guerrilla Resistance faction and collaborate together to liberate the island in a new cooperative scenario. I know quite a few of our viewers and Discord members enjoy Arma Reforger, so I had to mention it. And speaking of other combat milsim-like games, Gunner Heat PC finally gets the T-80B tank for the Soviet forces, bringing a breath of fresh air for the Red 4. Last update features two new instant action missions with the new armor and plenty of features and adjustments to keep us busy, as this promising game is progressing through its early access. And for those of you still watching, I know you are definitely been here with us in our journey to provide entertaining news for quite some time now. I want to share with you the joy of having a successful channel that is being reached by different companies, developers and known brands to be able to collaborate and bring us to new heights. As we strive to promote products that make sense for our viewers, things that you are interested in and based on the comments, discussions and general use when it comes to simulation games. One of these companies is Moza Racing, sharing their offers for those of you who take part in racing, car sims and now truck simulators with the all-new TSV truck wheel. If you're interested in buying a new wheelbase, a steering wheel, pedals or any other of their products, make sure to use our affiliation link as your purchase will support our channel in the process. Next, be on the lookout of our coverage of the working progress ground branch, gifted to us by the developer to review. Thank you all for watching, many thanks to our Patreons for their continued support. Remember to check our sponsors VR Rock for your VR blue light protection and prescription lenses, Fox Tree Managed Solutions for the best DCS servers out there, Moza Racing with their amazing technology and Pimax for the most quality VR headset that the market can offer. And subscribe to keep in touch with all the latest news on your favorite simulators and games. I am Andre Celesti, reminding you to fly safe and I'll see you next time.